Hey guys, this is Hogan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Yoast SEO plugin. So, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Yoast SEO, it's essentially a WordPress plugin that helps you optimize your website's on page SEO. So, it's a must have plugin for anyone using WordPress because on page SEO is an important factor when you want to rank keywords in the search engines. So, for example, when Google actually scans your website, they want to find keywords, titles, descriptions, your URL structure. They want your keywords to actually appear on the website and that way they can determine whether or not your web page is actually relevant to what the user is actually searching for. So Yoast SEO will actually help you by providing a live checklist that you can actually go through, which ensures that the best practices are followed for each of your pages and your post. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a real example of how I do it from installing the plugin and setting it up and also optimizing a post. So if you want to learn like keyword research, on-page SEO and also off-page SEO, I have a full SEO tutorial which I'll link down below in the description. So without much further ado, let's get started. So log in to your WordPress account and log in to your dashboard section. So we want to first install the plugin. So hover over plugins and click on add new. And here on the right, you want to search for Yoast and then click on enter. Okay, it should be the first result here called Yoast SEO with over 5 million active installations. And as you can see, it's a really popular and really good plugin. So we're going to click on install now and activate the plugin. Okay, so here is your Yoast SEO on the left. So you can click on general. So if it's your first time uh, using the Yoast SEO, you can actually click on configuration wizard. So I'm gonna go through this with you. So click on that. Okay, click on configure. And here, okay, so what you choose here is if your website is live and ready to be indexed, so basically you're ready to have Google scan your website and actually index your pages on the Google search, then click on option A. If it's under construction still, um, then you can select this one here. Okay, so if you actually finish building your website, then you probably need to um, turn on and make sure that it is uh, set to this one here. Okay, click on next. This one is a sort of a blog and a website, so I'm just gonna select blog and then click on next. I'm going to select company, name of company. I'm just going to put my name and here you can insert a company logo by choosing image. I'm going to just click on next. So here you can enter in your Facebook uh, page or your Instagram URL, your Twitter URL. You can put this all here. Okay. So I'm not going to be walking through that. That's pretty easy to do. So click on next. So here, uh, you want to make sure that you allow the search engines to index your posts and pages. So those are the most important. And if you've actually got like WooCommerce installed, you want to make sure that the products are also uh, selected on yes. But sometimes depending on your theme, you might have like different sections. Like for this theme, you have layouts as well because we can actually import demo layouts and I actually don't want that to show in the search engine, okay? So I don't want that to show the layout parts, but you wanna make sure your pages, posts, and products are definitely um, selected on yes. Click on next. So here I'm gonna choose no, okay? So this is best to choose no because you wanna prevent your author archives from actually showing. And if it actually shows, then it might actually have duplicate content issues. So duplicate content means like you've got the same content and that way Google doesn't actually know, you know, which page to actually rank. And sometimes that causes issues. What I recommend is selecting no and then click on next. So here you want to connect it to the Google search console. Okay, so here it's a must have tool for your website. Um, it shows the health of your website, but also it shows like what keywords people are actually searching for when they actually click on your website. So it gives you some data and you wanna connect that to your website. So what you can do is uh, go to Google and maybe type in Google 
search console and hit on enter. So if you don't have an account, you probably need to create an account and you can click on start now. And I've already got an account, but you might need to fill in some basic information. And once you've actually done that, then you can actually add in a property. Okay, so this is the new layout. Okay, click on the left here. Okay, I think okay, you can close that, click on that, add property. Okay, you want to select the second one, URL prefix, right? And you want to grab your URL, okay, from the top and paste that in and then click on continue. So once you've actually done that, then you actually need to uh, verify the ownership of it. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on done for now and we're gonna configure it later because we need to set this up first. So we're gonna click on get authorization code and we need to actually log in to our accounts click on allow. Okay, we're going to click the code here and paste it into here. Click on authenticate. Okay, so it's going to connect the Yoast SEO to your Google Search Console and we want to select the profile. So we want to add in the one that we just created. Okay, inspiredemo.site and then click on next. Here is your title settings. So you want to put in a website name this could be probably your brand name. Okay, so name of brand, I would say, like name of brand. And your title separator, this basically is this thing here. Okay, so as you can see, this is the title, and then you've got the separator. Um, this separator is just a line, so it really depends on what you want to show. You can pick this one if you want to, and click on next. So here you can sign up for the newsletter if you want to, but I'm just going to click on next. And you can also upgrade to Yoast Premium. They've also got some SEO training, but I'm gonna click on Next. Okay, so now that we've configured it, we want to close. Okay, so that's gonna take us here again. Uh, what you wanna do is click on Webmaster Tools, and we wanna get the Google verification code. So we wanna go back here, okay, and click here. Let's look for our new property, which is not verified, which should be on the bottom. Click on it. Now what you want to do is you want to click on the HTML tag option and then just uh, select all of it. Right click and copy that to your clipboard. Go back to your website and paste in the code here. Just control V or command V and paste that in. Click on save changes. So as you can see, Yoast SEO automatically removes the stuff in front. So it's only going to take the code here. So once you've actually done that, you want to go back to Search Console and click on Verify. And that has verified. So basically, it's inserted the code onto your website and Google Search Console sort of scans your website for that code. And that way, it verifies your ownership of that site, right? And just click on Done. Okay, so we finished configuring the wizard. Now what I'm gonna show you is how to optimize a post using the Yoast SEO plugin. So if you actually wanna optimize your pages, it pretty much follows the same uh, process as I'm about to show you for the posts. For this example, I'm gonna show you how to optimize a blog post. So click on blog post and I'm gonna add a new blog post. I've already created an article, which I just typed up really quickly and I'm gonna show you how to uh, basically post it in. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the title and I'm gonna paste the title up here. This thing here is actually not part of WordPress, but it's actually part of the theme that I'm using, which is the Themeify Ultra. This is the Themeify Builder. So what I'm actually gonna do with the Themeify Builder is I'm actually gonna delete it first, right? So if you hover over it on the top left, you can actually remove the block, okay? So if you're actually using Themeify, then you can just remove it for now. We want to add the text into the actual WordPress editor. So this is the new Gutenberg uh, content editor. I'm pretty new to it, but we'll give it a go. What we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna copy the text, okay? 
So what I recommend you guys do if you're writing a blog post is to actually just type it up on Google uh, Docs first and then add it in later to your WordPress. So it's going to paste that in, right? So I'm going to paste it in and it's looking pretty good. Okay. If you actually scroll down, okay, you'll see Yoast SEO. Here is basically a snippet preview. So this is what actually shows up on the search results. Okay. So it gives you a complete preview of what it will look like in the search results, which is really, really cool. So what we're going to do is first add the focus key phrase. I'm going to click on focus key phrase and enter in the keyword that you're actually targeting for that specific page. Specifically, I'm going to type in how to make money online. Okay, so that's my main target keyword. Again, if you actually want to follow a complete SEO tutorial, which includes keyword research, on-page optimization and off-page, make sure to check out the SEO tutorial down below. I go through really in depth on how to actually find keywords, especially for like local businesses or if you're a blog or e-commerce website as well. What we're going to do is once you've actually pasted that in is you can click on edit snippet and here is your SEO title here. So by default, I'm going to leave that as is. That's pretty good. Uh, for the slug, this is basically your sort of the name after the the URL. So let's just say we type in the truth about making money online, something like that. Okay. So as you can see, if we go here, that's your slug. Okay. So I'm going to type that in the truth about making money online and I'm going to put in a meta description. So I typed one up before, copy that and paste that in. As you can see, I've included how to make money online within the meta description. So if you actually scroll down here, okay, once you've actually put in the focus key phrase, the Yoast SEO will actually analyze the content that you've pasted in here for the actual focus keyword. It basically shows you the problems and basically I'm going to show you how to fix these problems. These ones are already good. Okay. So if you don't, um, because your article is going to be different, then you might need to fix these ones. But I'm just going to show you uh, a few examples of how I fix these. And then you guys can actually work through your own article um, at your own pace. So we're going to do some internal links first, right? So internal links are basically links that sort of link to another page or another post on your website. And how to do that is let's say for example we we link this text here um which one okay how to market your services right so select the text and here you want to click on the link okay here you can type in how to this really depends on what your other post title is so you want to search for your post title here and then it'll actually show up here. If you're actually unsure, then what you can do is right click and open the all your posts. Okay, so you can see all your titles that you have and then you can actually search it there. What I like to do is if it's actual internal link, then I keep it um, so it actually opens in the same tab. If it's an external link, I normally open it in a new tab. Right, so this is an internal link. I'm going to keep it as is, and then you want to click on the apply button, and that adds a link. Right, so if you scroll down here, you'll see that problem is gone. The key phrase density this is how many times your uh, keyword actually appears in your content, uh, the percentage of it. As you can see, it is quite low. Uh, we want to add a little bit more of the same keyword within the article itself. So what I recommend you do is to try to work it in your article naturally. You don't really want to um, add it in where it doesn't actually make sense, right? So what we're gonna do is let's try to add it in. Okay, so once you have a skill, you can leverage that knowledge to make money online. So that makes sense, I think. 
So we're going to scroll down and that is gone. Another problem is the image alt attributes. No images appear on the page. Okay, so adding images is really good for your blog post because it sort of breaks it up and it makes it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to add an image. To add an image, um, I'm just going to add it here. Okay, click on add block and then you can click on image and you can click on media library. Okay, so if you uploaded the image already, you can select it from here. If you haven't, then upload files from your computer. All right, so I'm going to add this one here. And what I've actually done is before I uploaded the image, I've actually named the image. I've named it to something relevant, for example, a freelancer laptop. And you can add in the alt text here if you want to, or you can actually select the image here and add the alt text into here. What I'm going to do is type in for the alt text, make money from home. Okay, something like that, something that's related because Google actually scans your website, but sometimes they can't really understand uh, sort of what image you have. The alt text will basically help them understand, right? So if I actually go down, let's hopefully that is gone. Okay, so that's gone. As you can see, this is really, really awesome because you can work through all of these and um, it helps optimize your website. Outbound links is basically links linking to an external link. So something different from your own domain. What we're going to do is link to an outbound link. So here I'm going to link to Amazon. Okay, so I'm going to grab the Amazon link. And then I'm going to click on this and paste the link in here. I'm going to open the link in a new tab. Okay, because I sort of want to make sure that people stay on my website, right? If people click on Amazon and it goes straight to Amazon, they might be unlikely to come back anymore. So you want them to sort of stay on your website and open an external site uh, in a new tab, right? Click on apply and then scroll down. That's gone. This one's looking for key phrase in the subheading. So we're going to look at the subheadings that I have. This one's meant to be a heading. So I'm going to select the text here and I'm going to change it to heading, heading two. But there's a better way to make money online, right? Scroll down. That's done. This one is slug stop words. So if you want to understand what stop words are, then you can click on this. Okay, so Yoast is really, really awesome. Click on it and it'll actually link you to a Wikipedia page to help you understand. So what we're going to do is remove the stop word. I think the might be a stop word and I think about is a stop word. So we're going to do that. Okay. So as you can see, just follow the checklist and make sure these are all green. Um, you don't really have to make sure that every single one of them is green, but most of them make sure it's done, and then you have pretty much optimized uh, all the on-page elements that you can. Here, if you actually click on cornerstone content, this is basically, uh, if you actually tick it off, then uh, Yoast will sort of help you optimize the most important uh, articles on your website. So you can learn more by clicking on here. This one is just a simple article, so I'm not going to select that. But if you have like a really, really in-depth article, you want to make it sort of your, your main uh, piece of content for your website, then you want to turn it on, right? So what we're going to do is actually go to click on document there. So to add in a category, you can select add a category. I've already added one, so I'm going to select online business. Uh, you can add in tags, which uh, you if you want to, but I um, don't think it's really necessary. Click on featured image, set in a featured image. That makes it look a lot nicer. And click on select. And once that is done, click on publish. To view that post, you can click on view post. So this is the article, fully optimized on page for... Google and other search engines as well. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop it down below. Hopefully you like this video and for more videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you guys in the next tutorial.